Hey there guys, Angus Fairbairn of Boss Fitness of bossfitness.net. As you can see here in this video, we're going to be focusing on body pump classes. Are they actually legit for real deal fat loss? So if you've been into any sort of uh, key commercial sort of gyms, things like Fitness First or Good Life um, or even sort of some anytime fitnesses or whatever, you're going to see that um, group classes are something which is becoming really, really popular. And amongst all those group classes are the body pump classes. These are the ones which are actually sitting right at the top in terms of uh, most attended um, and just most popular among the actual um, array of classes themselves. So what you typically see is anywhere between 15 to 20 people, sometimes more depending on the capability and the um, capacity of the actual gym. And these sessions usually last for about 45 to 60 minutes. So the gist of them is obviously it's got pumping tunes and there's a nice group atmosphere. Um, but the gist in terms of the actual activity performed within the actual class itself is lightweight with loads of repetitions. So picture things like um, you know, bicep curls, as you'll see in these images floating by, um, you know, lying down on the bench where you're doing chest press, um, all different exercises um, and a bit of a, I guess what I call a small energy burn. So um, as you're going through the exercises, obviously they change from class to class based on the instructor as well, things like that. Um, and these sort of classes are perfect for, in my opinion, um, people who are just starting out in their fitness journey. So someone who might have been a couch potato before, someone who um, you know, might have an injury in the past and is easing back into exercise. Maybe he's just new to a gym and wants to you know, see what it's all about. Um, and also good for people who just want it as a means to have fun and socialize with other friends as well. So what I see lots of mums as well, this is their sort of you know, them time. So they come in to rock it out with their other mum friends. Um, and you know, it's all good. It's fantastic. It's movement. So that's what, what, what it's good for. The downside that I see though to body pump classes as a whole is a big thing called muscle adaptation. So what I mean by that is that because the focus within these actual classes is on light weight with lots of reps, um, typically what's, what I guess you ladies call you know, sort of toning reps, um, the muscles in the body can actually really easily adapt to this. So by that I mean plateaus, yeah? So the reason why this happens is because within the actual exercise itself, there's a lack of actual muscle stimulus. And you're not actually stimulating the right muscle fibers to trigger muscle growth. So remember that if you're someone that wants to tighten and tone your body, you need to actually have a decent amount of muscle there in the first place to be able to tone and to um, you know, sort of lose the fat that's surrounding it. Yeah? So by rocking out these group classes, what's actually happening here is that you're not actually giving your body enough reason and oomph to sort of trigger any sort of new muscle growth going on. Um, and you're not actually giving the body enough reason also to maintain how much muscle mass you've got on your frame simply because the body is an adaptation machine. Um, it gets used to things really quickly. So what happens there is that unless you're giving your body enough reason to give a hold of the muscle that you've got, it's going to let go of it because it costs the body a lot of energy to maintain and to keep. So the solution here as to say like if you're using body pump classes as your only sort of form of activity at the moment or other group classes as well, what you should be doing as a female is turning your focus toward weight training. So you may go, oh, but weight training makes me bulky. Oh, I'm scared that I might look like a man. Oh, you know, this, that, and the other. But in terms of weight training, now that it is a woman's best friend, it will stimulate um, you know, the right sort of muscle fibers in terms of just creating that tight and toned body. And it will enable you limitless room for progression. So to get stronger, to become fitter, and it will actually shape and progress your body in the direction that you want to, which body pump actually cannot do. So what I'd actually suggest is that from watching this and you piecing it together in terms of where you can take action upon, I would start actually constructing your weight training, um, your sort of program where you're actually exercising isolated weight movements three to five times per week with the majority of those movements within the actual uh, workout itself coming from compound movements, so heavy squats and deadlifts and things like that. Because the idea here is that you can't um, you know, sort of just lift weights that are lighter than your purse and expect to get results from it. And you know, in terms of these body pump classes, how on earth is any of that functional and how can that be applied in your day-to-day -day life? You're never going to pick up a shopping bag and curl it 50 times, are you? No, you're never going to pick up your baby um, you know, 100 times, are you? No, exactly. Um, so having a strength focus within your actual workouts where you're doing reps of you know, sort of six to eight um, or four to six or things like that and then have hypertrophy, which is actually the scientific term for toning, to actually enable you to progress forward and to grow and to develop and to move forward further and further. Because what happens here is that through weight training, remember that as you get better at an exercise or at a certain movement, like say for example squats, you might have started off only squatting a good 30 to 40 kilos. But then what happens is that as you get better 
at squats, obviously what happens there is that you bump up your weight, don't you? And then you keep going until you can hit eight to 10 reps of that, bam, you bump it up again. The same happens with all exercises and enables you limitless room to actually progress. Don't fear weight training, don't fear that it's gonna get you bulky. Isolate that within a great weight training program or weight regime and then have body pump on the side as just part of a fun way to move around and to enjoy physical activity as a whole. So do me a favor, if you found this video valuable, what I'd love for you to do is just to drop some love below in the comments section, um, share with them what you enjoyed or if you've got any more questions as well, feel free to ask. I'd love to keep the conversation going with you. And I'd love it if you can do yourself a favor, if you're someone that feels that you're stuck in a rut with your exercise and your nutrition, your fat loss as a whole, and you feel that you're not really getting anywhere and that you're kind of just feeling a bit deflated and a bit demotivated, what I'd love for you to do is to click below and in the image you'll see, uh, you're gonna get access toward a free Dream Body Breakthrough Discovery Call with me. Um, I get these people for free, they're worth about 250 bucks, but it's where I can devote an hour of my time to you to hear out your story, hear where you're at, and to hear you know, sort of just why you haven't managed to achieve this fat loss um, that you want on your own, and to see you know, for a good match with my coaching to help you to move forward. But thanks so much for watching, really hope you got some uh, you know, gold nuggets out of it, and I'll see you next time. Take care.